Hello everybody, this is Tiziano and today we are going to install OpenCV on our Raspberry Pi 3. We are going to download the latest and greatest 3.4 version and then we are going to build it on our companion PC. The process takes about 2 hours, so be very patient. After all that, we need to calibrate the camera. Now, I set up my camera in this frame here where I put the Raspberry Pi and the camera over here. This comes from another one of my other project that is the donkey project, a donkey autonomous car. Check this out in the description. It's really cool. Now, why do you need to calibrate the camera? Well, all the cameras are different. Now, there is no two cameras that are alike. Even the same cameras, the same camera models, they are slightly different in the focus and the lens alignment. OpenCV treats camera with a pinhole model. Pinhole model is a mathematical representation of a 3D object projected into a 2D space. So projecting something that is 3D into a plane that is 2D, of course it will make it lose one dimension, that is the depth perception. The pinhole model is described with these intrinsic parameters here that are summarized in the camera matrix. Now the camera matrix is defined with the fx and fy that are the focal length and CX and CY that are the optical sensor. All these dimensions are in pixels. In addition to that, we need also to address for, for lens distortion. Now, in image like this one, you can notice what I mean when I talk about distortion. And you have to rectify the image in order to make sense of what you're seeing in your mathematical model. Now, this distortion is modeled with five parameters. And with the other four parameters of the intrinsic camera matrix, we need uh, nine parameters to be estimated. The process of estimating these nine parameters is called calibration. With the first script, that is save snapshot, we're gonna take multiple pictures, at least 30 pictures of this chessboard in multiple positions. And then we're gonna use these pictures to run the camera calib.py that I derived from the OpenCV one. So done with the talking and follow me in this tutorial. So let's start install packages. We start with build essential, CMake, and package config. Then we install libjpeg dev, libt5 dev, libjasper dev, and libpng12 dev. We install libab codec dev, libab format dev, libsw scale dev, libb4l dev. Then we install libxbit core dev and libx264 dev. Then libgtk 2.0 dev. Now let's not forget libatlas and gfortran. Those are being used for the building process. Now let's download OpenCV. We're gonna check which version is the most recent and we see that it's the 3.4. So we save OpenCV 3.4 with wget and we save it to OpenCV.zip. Then we unzip the file. Now let's download OpenCV Contributes. In my case it's 3.4 version. If a new release of OpenCV or Open Contributes will be released, you just have to uh, change the numbers here. So in my case, the 3.4 becomes your, I don't know, 3.6 version. And we unzip it. Then we install NumPy. Now we browse into the OpenCV folder. We create a folder called build, browse into the folder build, and prepare the make file. So the make file will be uh, CMake with CMake build type uh, set to release. We're gonna set CMake install prefix as user local. We're gonna set install Python examples on OpenCV extra modules path to OpenCV contribute 3.4 modules. That's the one that we downloaded and unzip. Then we build example on and we run it. Long, long time. Anyway, at the end, you have to check the output. So uh, first of all, let's check, for example, that all the packages are uh, included and then that the interpreter is Python 2 and check the path. Now type make-j4 and wait for about one and a half or two hours. So be very patient, that takes a long time. 
Now install it with sudo make install. It takes a long time. Then LD config. And now we're ready for checking. So we run Python and we import CV2. And if uh, I have no error, everything is fine. Now for my repository, you're gonna see that I added another folder, OpenCV. Let's browse into OpenCV folder. And you're gonna find OpenCV install. That's the whole procedure. The readme text that guides you through the calibration process. And now in order to do the calibration remotely, we need the Raspberry Pi to forward his desktop. So on Windows, we need to install and run Xming. And on Paddy, you have to enable the X11 forwarding into the connection SSH. While if you're running on Linux, just add the dash capital X when you SSH. Now let's have a look to save snapshot.py and you see it's gonna be pretty easy. I define a function called say snaps and I open the camera with cv2.video capture zero and, and here I assign the frame width and height. Then I create a file name and file and with Q you quit. Then let's open Camera Calib. That's pretty much the same of the one that you find here. The main difference is that I have added the ability of checking every single picture and keep it or discard it. I, I found that that's very helpful for increasing the accuracy. If you wanna know how to call it, you just, you just call it with dash H for the help menu. Now we run Save Snapshot with 640 times 480 pixel and we set the rest PI as true. Press the spacebar for saving the image and Q to quit. You want to save at least 25 to 30 pictures. Here are all the pictures. We're gonna move them to camera one folder. Here they are, let's check them out. They look pretty good. Okay, now we browse into camera zero one and then now we run camera calib setting camera 01 as a folder, JPEG as the format, then we have nine times six and 25 millimeter as the square dimension. You see some pictures are good, others are a little bit bad, so we wanna discard the one that are bad, that are not properly lined up, and we do it with ask button. In the end, the calibration matrix and the distortion parameters are printed and you wanna check them out for inconsistency and also the total error should be pretty small. In my case, is 0.03, that is okay. Now, in this video, I didn't go through too much math and explanation and if you wanna know more about OpenCV, you just check out the documentation. I put a link in the description below. Plus, I really suggest you follow this guy here, Sendex, that helped me out at the beginning to figure out um, OpenCV in Python. He has a great uh, tutorial series and I definitely invite you to check this out. So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, before you go, I just wanna give you a sneak peek of what is gonna come next. Here at Axworks, where I work, we put our hands on this little fella here. This is the Intel Aero Development Kit. This is a ready-to-fly drone that comes with almost everything you need to start uh, programming and developing your application. We put our hands on it because we wanna check out the Intel Aero board, so I thought it would be helpful for you guys to follow me during the installation setup and uh, my uh, developing process, who knows. This thing uh, is incredible because it comes with everything you need in a single board. There is an autopilot and uh, a companion PC in the same board running Linux. And plus, it comes with the Intel Air, uh, RealSense that is for 3D perception and video processing. So, uh, I hope you're gonna follow me in the next videos to come. And for now, thank you for watching and see you next time.